Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you something interesting which I got from banggood.com. This is a relatively cheap RF meter. I'm going to use this for a really cool project, basically to build a VSWR measurement unit so that I could measure my home built 5.8 GHz FPV antennas. And for this project, as you can see, I've laid out the other parts here. Basically, on the left, you need the 200 mW 5.8 GHz video transmitter, an RPSMA to SMA adapter, an attenuator that has 20 dB attenuation, an SMA to SMA male adapter, a directional coupler for 5.8 GHz, and then on the output here, you need another SMA to SMA adapter which allows you to hook up the directional coupler to the RF meter and on the end of this directional coupler you could hook up your DIY home built 5.8 GHz antenna which you like to measure and then this RF meter will have voltage output which is a scaled output in terms of DC voltage and we could then churn some numbers using a voltmeter, a digital voltmeter. Now here's a close-up of the RF meter board. It supports up to 8 gigahertz, which is good, and it has a scale output reading of 25 mini volts per decibel. The specifications at banggood.com also states that this board could handle no more than 5 decibel of power, which is the equivalent of 3.1 mini watts. Hence, I have used a 20 that's about 20 dB attenuator to step down this video transmitter output of 200 mini watts to a mere 2 mini watts, which the RF meter could handle. The most expensive component used for this project would be the directional coupler. This is a directional coupler from Mac Technology and it could handle up to 6 gigahertz. You could find a similar coupler like this one on eBay. And the cheapest one, if you'd like to get one brand new, would be from Mini Circuits. Oh, and by the way, I forgot to mention that you need a 3S LiPo pack for this project. This is a 500 mini amp LiPo pack. It's not too big and it has enough current, which is good. And also, you need um, a pair of leads to connect the circuit to your voltmeter. So, I got this pair of test leads which is really cheap, it's about 2 USD from banggood.com and basically I only need the ends here now the most difficult part of this project is to solder the wires to the RF meter board the JST here is for the output and it will connect to the female JST here which then goes all the way to the pair of banana plugs for connecting to the digital multimeter for taking measurements and if you notice I've used the 3S LiPo balance tab to power the RF meter so that I could free up the JST of the LiPo pack here and use the JST to power the transmitter instead to protect the RF meter board I've printed an enclosure for it here this is not really necessary you could use heat string if you want, but I just prefer to have it in a case to make it look more professional. So I'm trying to assemble it now. Hopefully everything fits together nicely. Okay, looks good. And I've printed, I've designed this um, case to have these outlets here for the JST and for the balance tab connector like so and this is the cover notice the arrow pointing to the left that's the direction of the coupler so basically you want the transmitter to be here and the antenna which you like to measure to be here for the forward power then to get the reverse power, just put it the other way around. Alright, in this shot you can see a generous amount of hot glue used to keep the 
parts in place. On the left is the JST output and on the right is the balance tab 3S input. At the top is the SMA for the directional coupler. Uh, besides making it look good, we need it to work well for this project. So let's take some reading and see how well this works. Alright, here's the moment of truth. I've hooked up the transmitter and the antenna on the test in reverse order, meaning I'm measuring the reverse power using the RF meter board. Right now, the video transmitter is not powered on. And interestingly, we're getting 2.13 volts from the board here, a zero gain. What's the reason for that? Well, the reason is that according to the data sheet here, it states that the output range is 0 0.5 volts to 2.1 volts and we're getting 2.13 for zero gain. So I have to conclude that the more power you feed into the RF meter, the lower this reading is going to get. So let me power off the RF meter so that I could power on the video transmitter to let it stabilize for a while first before taking reading. Okay, that will do. It should be stabilized now and I'm going to power on the RF meter. And we're getting 1.130 for the reverse power. So I'm going to punch that in here into the spreadsheet. 1.13. One point one three two. And we have the gain of thirty nine point nine two. More about how it arrived at this number later on. So now we're going to do the same to measure the forward power. Alright, I've hooked up the antenna and the video transmitter the other way around, and now time to power on the Video transmitter. Again, the light is stabilized for a while. Okay, that will do. And time to power on the RF meter. Okay, we're getting 0 0.917. Let me punch that in. Zero point one zero point nine one nine. Zero point nine one nine. And okay. Now we have the forward power, which is forty eight point four four dB. I'm gonna power off everything and explain what this spreadsheet is all about. Okay, if you remember. The range of this RF meter is 0 0.5 to 2.1 volts or 2.13 in our case here, according to the voltmeter. So to arrive at the forward and reverse power in gain measurement, we need to take 2.13, which is the zero gain, and minus the reading that we've got here. And that will give us the delta, which is the actual gain in voltage and we're going to take that voltage and divide by 0 0.025 because this RF meter is scaled at 25 millivolts per dB so if we divide the voltage by 0 0.025 we get the actual gain in dB so now that we have got these two values we can calculate the VSWR I'm using this calculator online, it's called the rfcalculator.mobi So, just gonna punch in the forward power, which is for 8.88 and the reverse power, which is 39.92 and okay, and and then we hit this button here so the VSWR is about 2.1 Well, not very good 
So basically with this method you could do VSWR readings of any 5.8 GHz antenna such as the Pagoda antenna here and then you can compare which antenna in your collection has the best VSWR and that will give you better video range as you are flying FPD In comparison, the cost here is like 12 USD for the RF meter from Banggood.com and I got this secondhand coupler on eBay for 65 USD and the attenuator here 20 dB attenuator costs about 15 USD so all in all you can have your own VSWR meter under 100 bucks which is great compared to professional VSWR meter that can measure 5.8 GHz normally cost about more than $1,300. That's all I have. I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.